Hi guys, in recent interviews I have done and in my experience too I observed one thing regarding BTEC, Electronics and Electrical students that they are forgetting the two tables of flip-flops too. So here I want to share some tips to remember two tables for flip-flops. No, just for remembering only, okay? Let's see. We have four different types of flip-flops. Those are SR, JK, D and T flip-flops. Okay, first we will discuss about SR flip-flop. Coming to the SR flip-flop two table, just one tip for remembering is uh, the name S stands for set and R stands for reset. And whenever you see one at any input, just think that you are pressing the corresponding button. Means in second case, we have one for R, means corresponding button reset. So you are pressing reset button. Okay, in this case, for SR two inputs we have four combination of four like 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 okay guys in first case we have both 0 0 means you are not pressing any button so not pressing any button means the present state is equal to the previous state qn equal to the qn minus 1 there is no change in the state in the second case you have one for R means you are pressing the reset button when you are you press the reset button whatever it may be the present state the output will be become zero okay guess next in third state you are pressing yes means set button so whatever it be the previous state if you press the set button the output will become one and in fourth case we have both one for S and R means you are pressing S set and reset button simultaneously. So we can't define this output as is defined as undefined. Okay, guys. But the undefined state is not okay in the electrical circuits you have used. So to avoid this case, JK flip flop is developed so that first three cases is the same as SR flip flop and fourth case is designed as if both are one the output will be the replic um, toggle to the previous state My, means qn is equal to the qn minus one bar if it is if previous state is zero present is one if previous state is one present is zero by this way you can remember sr and jk flip flop easily okay next coming to the d flip flop by the name of d you can remember the DV flop. D stands for delay. Delay means in output is equal to the input with the delay of one clock pulse applied to the flip flop. If the input is zero, output is zero. Input is one, output is one. But with one clock pulse of delay. Okay. Next, coming to the T flip flop. T stands for toggle. Toggle means inverting. So output will be inverted to the input. So if output is input is 0 output will be 1 input is 1 output will be 0 by this way you can remember four two tables of flip flops okay next if anybody asks enable pin for chip just uh, remember a tip like that enable is giving power to the chip means if you give power then chip works as per the truth table if power is not given the output is be 0 only Okay guys, enjoy.